What's up, Everyday Blades? Man, I got a cool Shiro for you today. Uh, man, this took some hunting to get this thing. Uh, luckily, I had a buddy that had one and uh, came through, and it's beautiful. Man, it's, it's everything I wanted. Um, talking about the Shiro Goroff F95 Frag. Or, as it says here, the 95 Frag. So... I had, I have had the F95-0, love it, killer knife, everything I'd hoped for, but something about the frag pattern just, man, some of these knives in a frag pattern, it just brings them to life. Um, I didn't realize all the other bonuses that were going to come with it, other than just the frag pattern, than just the looks. So, the zero and take a look here man we can see has internal milling okay the frag has a big time big time external milling i mean it's significantly more milling and you can feel it in the weight it's a half ounce lighter the the difference just feels really good. It's like this is the weight this knife was meant to be at. So uh, it's just like with a lot of these older, really good companies. The more money you spend, the more you're going to get. They they go the extra mile. You know, the, you give a little more, you get a little more. Uh, of course, titanium scales. Let's see if we have M390, blade steel, winner, winner. This one uh, is fragged on both sides. I love that. So, this knife did not originally come like this from Shirogorov. It was originally blue, and I was told that the blue standoff marked that, right? It was a frag blue. A member sent it back to Shirogorov and had it bead blasted to the condition you see it today. So, the ID card is marked blue titanium, but... It was done by Shirogorov. So this is a pretty unique one that actually has the blue standoff and it's a bead blasted Shiro. And the finish is beautiful. I mean, it's almost very, very obvious that Shirogorov did the bead blasting on this because it's perfect. There's no flaws in the knife. I am a big fan of the F95. I am a bigger fan of this frag. I mean, I love this knife. Let's check the weight on it because that's, that's one of my favorite things about it. Four and a half ounces. Killer. Killer. I think the uh, my, my zero is right at five ounces. The action on this thing is just as good as every on my Shirogorov. So I have the frag, the zero, and the neon zero and i love all three of these knives you can't go wrong with any three of these knives i've had probably four or five other shira gorovs the nls and they've came and gone and they were killer knives too these were just a little bit better and they, these are the ones that ended up staying in my collection i i have a special place in my heart for this one the neon zero there's just something about it i wish they had done the the exact same pattern on the f95 and not done this milling here it's not that it's bad or it's ugly or anything. I just, I think that is just a perfect, perfect finish. I love that. Anyway, let's look at some size comparisons compared to regular size knives. This is a Benchmade bug out. As you can see, the, the F95 is not a small knife, uh, which I like larger knives. But it's also not overwhelming in your pocket because it's a narrow profile and they're not super thick. <clears throat> Here is the <clears throat> Spider Code Delica. And we'll do one more for Shats and Grands. A recent addition to the group PM2. Pawn Shop Treasure. So, as you can see, it's a killer knife. It is just, I mean, just take a minute to look at it. That frag pattern is so simple, yet so beautiful. And I've said this before on Shirogorov. One of the things that kept me for a couple of years from buying it was 
I didn't get a good look at the blade. You see the mirror, the reflection off of there? I thought this was like a stonewashed rough finish. I didn't know what an amazing finish they put on their knives. The blades are just awesome. There is a killer landing pad right here when you flip this knife. I, I don't think I've had any other knives that flip better than did the action with a flipper that flips better than Shirogorov. Until I started collecting Shirogorovs, I was not a fan of flippers at all. This one changed my mind because they showed me how well it can be done. Um, when I got a couple of these, if you had your finger anywhere even close to that lock bar, it was tough to open or it wouldn't open. But adjusting that lock bar pressure, now you can put your fingers anywhere on that lock bar you want to, and there's no issues whatsoever. It'll fly out. So That is the Shirogorov 95 Frag Monkey Edge Exclusive. Uh, they are pretty hard to come by. An F95 Zero is hard to come by. Uh, any of the Shirogorovs are hard to come by, but this one is specifically hard in the productions i'm sure the customs are tenfold harder than that but anyway this uh this is definitely one if you're a sure goroff fan this is definitely one to chase uh, my next is i'm looking for a f95t the turtle those are good looking knives to me i'd like to have one of those in my collection so guys god bless you and your families say a prayer for our country Good night.